Hey, what's happening, everybody? It is Lost in Place, and for those of you who don't know me, what I do on this channel, I do many different things, but one of the main things that I do, what I'm known for, I'm known as the Booster Buster, and we're a group of gamers who find people who boost in video games and pretty much destroy them. We expose them for their dirty, cheating ways and upload it to the internet and hopefully get them banned, usually get them banned. And we've been doing this for a lot of different games, and over a period of over two years now we've been doing this. So, Halo 4 just released, and already, already it is infested with boosters, that's right. I can honestly say that this game is hands down the easiest game I've ever played to boost in. And I'm going to show you proof of that, I'm going to show you how it's done, and I'm not showing you how it's done because I want you to do it. Uh, it's so easy to figure out that people will figure it out on their own, even if I don't show them. I'm exposing this to hopefully a, a show to 343 Studios something they need to patch. And it's just, to me, it's so obvious, this oversight that was made. Alright, we'll get into that. Anyway, fo so let's let's talk about this. We're looking at the multiplayer menu here, and you'll see all the different playlists, all the different game types. Now we're going to zoom in here and you see the team size, the minimum player count, the max party size, max local players, blah blah blah. Alright, we're going to focus in on Regicide because this is where I've noticed the people are boosting. Alright, so Regicide is a six person free for all game type. Six people, right? Look at the max party size. Notice anything fishy about that? Six people. What does that mean? Well, let me tell you what that means. What that means is that me and five of my buddies can get into a party, which I'm showing you on screen right now where there's six of us here. And we're going to go and we're going to search for Regicide. And guess what happens? It puts us into a lobby, a matchmaking ranked lobby with just me and my five buddies, the six of us. All right. What's up with that? Okay, what game have you ever heard of a free-for-all that you can go in with all your friends and max out the lobby? I don't know of any other games that, that allow that. I personally think this might be an oversight. I don't know. It just seems ridiculous that you would allow a free-for-all in a ranked game lobby with what can be allowed to be all of your friends. Alright, so uh, here we're, we're just going to be dancing a little bit. We're not into boosting. I'm not going to be boosting at all obviously but I just wanted to demonstrate that this can be done and this isn't just for regicide this is for every game type every game type how many ever the max players are you can have a party that big and you can max out the lobby and have it all your friends let's take it a step further what these pro boosters are doing and I know this from my years of experience in busting boosters I know sources places to find them that the average person cannot find them and I've been researching this since the game came out and what they're doing alright so let's picture this me and my buddy we each have two split screens because you're allowed to have up to three split screens so me and three split screens and him and three split screens but for regicide it's me lost in place lost in place one lost in place two uh, and then the other guy and his two split screens and we all go into the game of regicide and we just kill each other's dummies so not only we get the boost, but we're not even messing up our KD. We don't have to die. We're just sitting there killing each other's buddies. Ranking up, getting unfair credits, unfair armor unlocks, unfair leaderboard positions. And I just find that ridiculous. Uh, I mean, as I'm sure you do, this is unfair. This is not the way it should be set up. So I wanted to bring this to 343 Studios' attention. I think this is something that, I mean, I don't know anything about how video games are made, but it would seem that this would be something that a Pats could fix. You cannot have the max party size the same as the lobby size. That is ridiculous. Otherwise, people will take advantage. They already are. And people are racking up left and right, getting unfair uh, armor unlocks, you know. Like, you, you gotta get special accommodations. Like, let's say you gotta assassinate someone X amount of times to get a certain armor unlock. Well, they just go in their regicide lobby and boost it. And they get all the cool armor, and they get all the unfair ranks, and this is because you guys made a little boo-boo. You made a little boo-boo, admit it, and, you know, I think you need to tweak it. I'd like you guys, hopefully, to look into this and see what you can do about it. But uh, this video is just to inform you guys, my viewers, it's up to you to let 343 Studios know. By liking and favoriting this video, if your Twitter account is connected, it will tweet it at 343 Studios. Also, share this video, share it on Twitter, share it on Facebook, make sure that they are seeing it. Because if we don't get this problem solved, uh, this game is going to be corrupt. It, it is already starting to be that way. I mean, my god, there are so many boosters. 
So that is it. That is the call to arms. Be sure to share this video with 343 Studios. I'm Lost in Place. I am one of the Booster Busters, and I'm out of here. You can go 20. <laughs> oh, God.